Breaking 2023, Ngege formally declares for presidency. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. He reveals his burning desire to see a prosperous, united, equitable Nigeria. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ngigi, on Tuesday formally declared his intention to contest the position of president, saying he has a burning desire to see a prosperous, united, and equitable Nigeria. Ngigi, who unveiled his presidential ambition before Mammoth Crowd at South St. Mary's Catholic Church, Allah, a Demela South local government area of Alhambra State, a second the ticket of his party, the All Progressive Congress CPC, as its presidential candidate. Addressing the crowd comprising the EPS of Faithful and other supporters, the former Anambra State Governor said having served 40 years in the public service, he was fully equipped as an administrator with a huge world of experience, capacity and energy as well as a large heart to accommodate the differences among Nigerians. Ngege, who recounted his numerous achievements as a former governor, ex-senator and two-time minister, described himself as the jack of all trade and master of all that Nigeria needs now. He thanked the president for the opportunity of him to serve as a minister, which is said broadened his knowledge of the various ministries, departments and agencies. Being a member of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, and the conciliator of disputes between employers and employees in the various arms of government and the private sector. According to him, his stewardship and the difficult and complex Ministry of Labour as the chief conciliator enriched his knowledge of the problems of workers, the difficulty the industrialists and entrepreneurs face, while industries close down and why some run far below their stored capacity and in turn employ fewer hands. He said, I know, I also know the unproductive areas and the areas of waste in the public service. I see the energy and labor that has not been properly harnessed. I have seen the low hanging fruits in agriculture, the handicaps, the factors that militate against job creation, which is one of the mandates of my ministry, especially the inter ministerial and inter agencies cooperation that is missing. I have seen a burgeoning population without a corresponding advantage in the terms of improvement in GDP. He said, under his watch, the Labour Ministry has conciliated 1683 industrial disputes in the last seven years. 95% done successfully in the ministry and its agency. The Industrial Arbitration Panel, IAP, while only about 3% of the disputes went up to the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. NICN. The minister said it took labor administration to a higher level in the international arena, where their labor diplomacy brought Nigeria back to the governing board GB of the International Labor Organization ILO after 10 years of absence. He explained that Nigeria came in first as a deputy, titular in 2017, and now a full regular member of the GB, having also been elected as the chairperson of a government group where he presided over the affairs of 187 countries of the ILO between 2019 to 2020. My dear friends, colleagues and comrades, many will consider, many will wonder that after serving seven years as minister in one of the most difficult ministries of government, inequality reduced with rising unemployment, bickering and economic dispute between workers and employers in a famished economy. Dr. Chris Mwabeze and Gige would have been asked for a deserved rest. Yes, a deserved rest would have been okay for me as a person, but the zeal, the burning desire in me to see a prosperous, united and equitable Nigeria, where no man is oppressed, where there is chasm, there is no chasm between the haves and have not, would not allow me to go home and rest. Today, as I sit back to reminisce on the state of our country, I find the country led by a patriot, good-hearted leader, Muhammad Buhari, though greatly misunderstood, especially in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Permit me to say that I want to get the nomination of our party and to stand on its manifesto to actualize and execute the programs of the APC. Shall we say the APC as a party? 
and as the government has failed, the answer is a big no. The three cardinal issues upon which Nigeria gave us a mandate in 2015 are infrastructural, social economic development, security, and anti-corruption. In properly assessing this government and our programs, it is important we start from where we met Nigeria in 2015. I don't want to be one of those in the class of whalers, wallowing in self-pity. No. I want to be your ambassador so that I can go and grow prosperity and grow the resources that are needed for a big country. Like Honestly, I don't know whether this is how politicians across the world, whether this is how they, they, they deceive people. But at least we have seen other politicians that once they say they want to do something, they will still do it. But in Nigeria, you see these guys that Koro Koro lies like this, and they will be telling you what they cannot do, they will tell you they will do it. You can imagine this one saying he wants to be uh, 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 Nigerian's uh, ambassadors. At the end of the day, if this one would not tell you that uh, uh, people can go to anywhere they want to go. Uh, the doctors can go. We have enough of, enough doctors. They are not treated. See, just the minister of uh, labor that uh, is heading, the ministry of uh, labor that is heading. See the way they are doing. See our lecturers. See our students. Everybody just out there. Nobody can concentrate. The lecturers are not well paid. The doctors, the same thing. They will tell you that, uh, oh, they should go to farm. They should go and do this. These people that are so arrogant. This one, Ingige. Hey. And this Koro Koro lies, they will be saying is as if they are they are talking to non-entities. You can imagine. As if they are talking to non-entities. What they cannot do, they will tell you they will do it. And they will get there, they will become demigods. See Buari now. Buari is telling Nigerians that Nigerians are ungraceful. Buari is telling Nigerians now that Nigerians are forgetful. That they didn't know, they forgotten how uh, they came on board, what they meant on ground. And the same person is telling us that uh, 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 they have done well as far as uh, security is concerned. Hey, you know, everybody is just speechless. The same man is coming to tell us that uh, he's going to do this, going to do that. Ha, ah, wow. all these ones that have been, they've been, they've been, they've been tried. They are not trusted. See what they are doing. See what they are, see the situation on ground. See the situation on ground. They cannot even do the meaningful. See See us, see doctors, see all, all everybody going on strike, and they are telling us uh, everything is fine. So what are you coming to do if you have done done the needful? What are you coming to do again? I beg you, I beg you. Oh my God! See, see how 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 crowded the place it was when it was declaring for presidency. People will see commas.